right, still a lot to digest from the Vikings win yesterday in Buffalo. But the players aren't just going through the game film. They're actually giving back to the community tonight. Our Jim Rich live with veteran Patrick Peterson. Jim, the guys just get home and then they start giving back without even missing a beat here. Yeah, it is remarkable. You gave all the Viking fans a huge gift yesterday, but this gift is actually even more important. Patrick Peterson joins us now, the Vikings, and this is your brainchild to give 200 families not only just turkeys, but an entire Thanksgiving Day meal. Yeah, you know, you know, something I started back in Arizona in about two, around 2014 and kind of carried over, uh, brought it over with me uh, in 2000 uh, last year. And, um, you know, continuing going, uh, Open Door did a great job of trying to continue the, the, the tradition and, um, by helping me provide these family, families, not, like you said, not only with turkeys, but, you know, you got eggs, tomatoes, you got bread, you got rice, you got a little bit of everything that, that can uh, help them feel like they, they're still a part of, you know, that holiday uh, tradition. So why is this so important for you? I mean, you're in the midst of a crazy NFL season. You've got to keep your mind sharp, your right. body sharp, yet you use your platform to try and make a difference. Man, you know, I came from a, a, a great, you know, community in uh, county in Broward County and has so many great come through there. Another Minnesota Viking great, Tyrone Carter, Henry and Zach Crockett, uh, Al, uh, Al Harris, oh, yeah. uh, Eddie Jones, you know, all of those guys did similar things like this. And I kind of had a feeling that I would be in this position one day on this platform that I am on today. And um, I wanted to do the same thing, you know, to be able to put a smile on someone's face that you don't even know, that just means so much more to me. That's pretty cool. <laughs> all right, I got to ask you about yesterday. Yes. Two interceptions. Yep. Uh, how were you so dialed in on Mr. Allen? Man, you know, I can remember when I played him in 2020 and I literally could have picked him off four times in that game. <laughs> and I was like, man, the next time I, I have an opportunity to play uh, against him, I don't want to let those opportuni opportunities slip away. And, they're, you know, you know they're, uh, they're, there you go for sure. I had two opportunities and I made the best of them, you know, so – and, and big plays ultimately to help the team come out on top. Now, I heard you earlier say that you told the Buffalo sidelines, if he comes towards me yeah. in overtime, I'm ending this thing. It's no, over. No doubt about it. I went in like a Steph Curry mode, night-night. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then the plane ride home, uh, they're going to be looking at the oh, video. Uh, you looked good. I got to admit, you, you <laughs> looked good there. Uh, how did this come about and not Kirk man uh, Z you know he kind of he kind of uh, bullied me into wearing the change this week because he said I, I, I kind of closed out the game so it was like no nah, man Kirk can't wear it this week the chains go the chains go to P2 this week so I was kind of bullied into wearing the change this week but I had a good time because um, I don't own any of that stuff so it's kind of pretty fun cool and unique to, to be in that in that atmosphere for sure and it's just amazing how this team has come together, mm -hmm. that this unit has pulled together, and that's part of it, isn't it? Right, no doubt about it. Just the, the camaraderie, the love that we have for one another, the belief we have in one another, because at the end of the day, that's what it comes down to, believing in one another on that field in those crunch time moments. And Coach always alludes to it, you know, this team always find a way, you know, to play their absolute best when our absolute best is required. You know, you can't ask for a better team to, to, to be around and a better coaching staff, quite frankly, uh, as well. Well, you're doing your best here today. Uh, thanks for all these families and helping out, Patrick. Oh, no worries, Jim. Thanks for coming out and uh, filming all of this. All right. That's the story from here. Uh, speaking of turkeys, he's probably going to hand me out the door <laughs> and, and get me out of here as well. Hey, Jimmy, before you go, before you let Patrick go, can you ask, he's been here a few okay. years now, ask him what is his favorite thing about Minnesota? Okay, getting I'm a question. Okay. All right, your uh, favorite thing about being here in Minnesota, the uh, state. Uh, my favorite thing about being here in Minnesota, man, it's so much. I love the fish. I love the golf. The summers here are just unbelievable. Um... But the one thing I'll probably say, and you guys may think I'm crazy for saying this, but the snow, 
because I'm, I'm from Florida. I went to school in Louisiana. Right. Went to Arizona, uh, lived in Arizona for 10 years. I've never been in these type of elements. So, like, me and my family, we are really embracing it. So, the snow for sure. Yeah, but when you came here as a free agent, I sure you, you made sure that it was a dome stadium. I did. That was a, that was a, a definitely a, a plus in, in the coming, not only coming back, but signing here in the first place. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. Right. All right. That's the story from here. Let's oh, go back to you guys. Thank you. Yeah, he likes to play in the snow. He doesn't like to play in the yes. snow, though. I mean, I wouldn't want to stand on the sidelines no. in the snow on Absolutely a cold day. If you're not. moving, it's one thing, but uh, I thought Jim's like, you look great, Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> that was